What's up, everyone? How you guys doing? Welcome to the show. Don't forget to go over to HarleyLiberty.com and check out your daily up-to-date biker news. Yes, we're awfully duplicated, but never replicated, baby. <laughs> we're going to be going all over the world today in some news, and we're going to cover a story. Man, I haven't heard of this club in a long, long time, the Hessians MC. Uh, never been in the news, but this is the first time we're going to cover it. Uh, their founder is trying to get out of the joint on parole. I guess he was actually arrested in the early 1980s. Wow. Long time, baby. Long time. <laughs> anyway, one thing that is really upsetting, and you're probably going to get upset too, is CNN, the Clinton News Network. Yes, they covered a story about everybody going up the Sturges. I guess it's a big what to do. And the liberal media are really putting down bikers, saying they're stupid, basically. You know, I did that segment, uh, the greasy uh, biker and all that stuff, how these liberals actually view you. And, and then I go, you know, why the hell anybody vote for them? If you're a biker, you vote for them people and they despise you. So, very interesting state of affairs uh, with the media. <laughs> you know, I have to pop this one up. Did you see that thing from Biden today where he says, well, the Latinos have a very mixed type of, uh, you know, traditions and uh, very rich history. And then he goes on to say blacks, well, they're about all the same. Ouch! But you can bet the mainstream media will not cover that one, will they? But, you know, in the CNN video that you're going to see, yeah, the mayor Sturgis uh, went on there to talk about it. Man, why does bikers always get schlucks to represent them? I don't get it. Why can't we have somebody decent to represent us? We always get these schlucks. It, 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 it's just nerve-wracking with these people because half the time they don't know what the hell they're talking about. The other half of the time is they're not even a damn biker. You know, the motorcycle enthusiast. Enthusiast. Also got a lot of feedback on our story about the USS Indianapolis, uh, how they were finally recognized by Congress with their highest award. And one, you know, I asked, well, why did it take so long? And it was very interesting. I had a subscriber said, you know, a lot of that stuff was just recently declassified. Uh, so that could have been why. I agree, man. I agree. Uh, our government has a thing with trying to hide stuff from us. And it's really getting irritating. It is. You know, we the people shell out millions and billions of dollars. And these people think, well, they know best that the people can't handle the truth. It's just like that UFO stuff. They finally got a commission together to study it because that one video, uh, the Navy uh, fighter intercepting that unidentified flying object got out and people are like, yeah, try to say it's a weather balloon now. <laughs> they just think we're plain stupid. Uh, then in Wildwood, I you know captured a letter to the editor where an owner of a motel, hotel, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, wherever you're from, you what you call it. Uh, he actually was praising the city's decision not to have the roar to the shore because too many, quote, biker gangs and non-desirables are showing up and it's affecting the family atmosphere. That's why I never go to rallies, man. I do not understand. It's me. It's probably me. I hooked on phonics. It didn't work for me. Uh, I don't understand why people would want to go to them rallies if all they look at you as is a dollar sign. It's like, what the hell are you doing? Why go? They don't like you. They just want to take your money. You know, that's just like Sturges. You know, I get it with Sturges. The riding is awesome. It really is. Uh, I've personally never been there, but I've heard from everybody I know that Sturges riding is just badass. 
uh, my question is, well, why don't you just go to week before Sturges and do your writing and get the hell out of there and stop supporting this corporate crap? Just like Daytona, just like Myrtle Beach, all that stuff. Just, you know what, start going and doing it the way it used to be. Go out to the woods, party it up. You don't have all the damn cops on you. Well, until the party gets out of hand. Then, you know, they kind of show up and ruin everything. You know, <laughs> they kill your buzz. They do all that stuff. But that is more fun and more true to the lifestyle than any of these damn rallies are. It's real saddening and sickening that the Jack Pine Gypsies had a fight. The city of Sturgis for an annexation because Sturgis feels they should be paying for this and that when it was the Jack Pine Gypsies that brought Sturgis to where it is in 1938. And Sturgis has been banking ever since. So for them to say, hey, well, they should pay their fair share. You made, the, <laughs> you made your share off of them, boys. So you can see how the government acts towards a biker. Everybody knows it. And then you see... Uh, how the citizens act towards you. They just want you for the money. And it's funny. Uh, you know, let's talk about profiling for a minute. We had one schluck that does a video that was an uh, ex-cop. Well, why bikers always complaining and whining and crying? Let A-bait and come and all them handle it. You know what? You're a cop. Shut the fuck up. You know what? Of course, you're going to pull your, you know, your buddy's peckers and say it doesn't happen. When, uh, you know, anybody can look on the internet and see all the pullovers and all the BS. That's the reason people don't like cops. You're always full of shit. You know, straight up, always full of shit. And don't go out there acting hard. Okay, you're a cop. That's what you are. So stop acting hard. You know, it kind of drives you crazy that, you know, oh, I was a cop and I've been riding a motorcycle. On a oh, shut up already. Somebody slap him, will ya? It's getting boring. It really is. It's really boring. Stop the tough fact. You know, you, you know, get out of your backyard and go do something with yourself. Stop pulling your pecker. <laughs> but back to the rally stuff. You know, I showed you that one uh, thing uh, out of the other 98% where they were calling bikers drug dealers and child traffickers. So I have not got an answer to my question. From bikers who support that party. If you support that party. Contact me. I'd really love to have a debate with you. I'd really want to know why. You would support that. When they hate your guts. It's a question. It's legitimate I think. But we got a lot of biker news to cover today. Lots of stuff. Let's get this show on the road. Shall we? CNN, these schlucks, yeah, I usually wouldn't put them on the show, but, you know, it comes out where it is, mayor, look at this schluck, uh, comes out and just makes things look stupid, let's take a listen. Stop people from coming, South Dakota has been a free state through this whole process, and we've had a tremendous amount of visitors already, all that being said, prepared is what, that's a priority for our community and for our visitors. So we prepare for rallies every year, but this takes a little bit more and I want to stress personal responsibility to our visitors and our residents as this uh, is forward. In other words, they were coming anyway, so you guys just had to accept that dick. and try to deal with it. So I guess my question to you is, there are some states and some cities that have quarantine restrictions. Um, what measures are you taking for the bikers coming from hotspots in Texas? California, in Arizona, in Florida. Any quarantine restrictions for those bikers? No, no restrictions in place uh, from the state or from the city of Like I mentioned, lots of visitors have been coming through the Black Hills and the entire state the last few months. It's a difficult situation. We certainly do have CDC recommendations. What kind of mask requirements do you have? No mask requirements encouraged. We'll have a lot of protective equipment out there available for people. 
a lot of foundations and charities in our in our neck of the woods that have a hated cloth masks back to personal responsibility encourage people to stay you know social distance as much as possible stay with your pods that you're already interacting with respectful of others you for personally feel safe i do I've, I've worked through this entire time both my regular job and my obviously there's, you wash your hands you need to be cognizant of respectful of yourself oh my god i wish i just wish that cnn would call me on their freaking show i would destroy that yuppie little tree hugger prick the disdain in his voice, you it's noticeable, can't you guys tell? That's the disdain that they have for you. Anyway, here's the one I was talking about uh, with the Hessians. Uh, biker turned lawyer and murderer seeking release from prison at second parole hearing. Uh, Tom Maniscalco. Convicted of killing three people in 1980 in Westminster, is now 75. This is his second parole hearing. By Tony. This is out of the uh, Orange County Register. It took two trials, one last than 17 months, to convict biker turned lawyer and uh, send him to prison in 1994 for killing three people. Tom, 75, is hoping that. In one morning, he can persuade a state parole board on Thursday, August 5th, to recommend his release from prison sentence of 46 years to life. One of the founders of the Hessians motorcycle gang, he rode Harleys and practiced law defending fellow bikers. He was accused in the May 1980 deaths of two former motorcycle gang members and the 19-year-old girlfriend of one of the victims at a ranch in Westminster. He was in custody 10 years before his conviction and has been eligible for release since 2014. He was convicted of ordering a hit on Memorial Day weekend of 1980 uh, on uh, Richard Rabbit Rizzoni, 35, at his home, Rena Arlene Miley, 19, and Rizzoni's friend Thomas Bernard Monahan uh, also were shot to death there. All bodies were found several days later. The three had been shot multiple times at close range, execution style. Police or prosecutors uh, later argue Miley, the daughter of the Los Alamatos police captain, was found on her back naked and raped. According to records, uh, he believed Rizzoni was ripping him off in his counterfeiting and meth distribution ring. Yeah, it was pretty hardcore back then. Uh, also participating in the slayings was fellow Hessian Daniel Shame Duffy, who was convicted of uh, special circumstances murder and is serving life in prison without the possibility of parole. His first trial started in 1990 and ended a year later with a hung jury. Uh, a second trial stretched nearly one and a half years. Very interesting how things were back then. Eight lawyers represented him at one time or another. Former deputy district attorneys, including former district uh, attorney uh, Tony Rakukis, were assigned to the prosecution. He was turned down uh, at his first parole suitability her hearing in 2013. His hearing Tuesday or Thursday, August 6, will be at 8:30 a.m. via video at Mule Creek State Prison. Oh, I gotta go check out that story and see what it has to say if they uh, granted it to him. Uh, but he is now 75 years old. Let's go to the one business I was telling you about. Why would businesses say no to biker gangs? And this is the story I was telling everybody about why even go to these damn things. Uh, by John Dianano Wildwood. To the editor. Let me preface all of this by saying that I am a private business owner of the Daytona Inn and Suites. Make sure you guys don't visit that one now. In downtown Wildwood, I am a Wildwood resident and a father of two raising children part-time 
In Wildwood. Oh, you're not a full-time father. Hmm, I see. So you're giving everybody else advice. I don't work for the city of Wildwood. As president of the board of directors of the downtown Wildwood Business Improvement District, I like to think that I'm part... Uh, I'd like to think that part of my duty as a tourism leader and volunteer is to make Wildwood as family-friendly as it can be. This coming from a part-time father. Some have said that the city of Wildwood is in the wrong for canceling Biker Weekend, also known as Roar to the Shore. It's traditionally always been the first weekend in September after Labor Day weekend. I remember the event first got started over 20 years ago. It was a great event! It was full of great couples and families who enjoy their bikes and all the fun that goes with it. It was the perfect shoulder uh, season event for our shore town. Things took a turn for the worse when an organized crime gang, <laughs> remember that, that's the way they look at clubs, took over the event a few years ago. They uh, progressively became a bigger and bigger presence within the city, so big of a presence that it has basically turned into a small national convention for said organized crime gang. You know, not only independents, but motorcycle clubs. I gotta ask you, why even go to these damn things? They don't like you. Some had said they are harmless. They won't bother you if you don't bother them. Well, I have an uncle in my large Italian family. He's a very nice man. If you were to ever meet him on the street, he would give you a big smile and shake your hand, maybe even hug you. But if you looked at his wife the wrong way, or maybe you backed into his Cadillac by mistake, I don't think you would think he was such a nice man anymore. Well, any man worth his balls would be the same way. Ex except you, part-timer. This event has gone from being a wonderful event that I looked forward to every year into an event that has turned into a stain on the city of Wildwood's reputation with only a handful of bars and motels that profit from it while most of the business community and residents have decidedly been against hosting this event in its current form, it's not a good look for Wildwood. Yes, I realize that we have so-called adult events in the shoulder season that may not be considered the most family-friendly events, but they certainly do not include high levels of illegal activity, including drug sales and plots to assault and murder other people. This guy's a schluck. For all of you business people, Facebook warriors, it sounds like you are. You know, why don't you come on my show, dude? We'll have some fun. I guarantee I'll bring a jackhammer at you. And brave anonymous spouters who want to complain to the city that this is wrong, this is not fair. Please, instead of bothering our hardworking city officials, dude, are you swinging on their balls, man? You are swinging on your, uh, their balls. That's what frickin' Democrats do to each other. They stroke each other's peckers. And employees about this, feel free to private message me instead. Oh, you can bet I'm gonna. You can bet. I'll get you on the show there, buddy. I am a business owner who is willing to give up thousands of dollars in income on the biker weekend in order for Wildwood to remain a safe place for our guests and residents alike. I am raising children part-time. And running a business around this illegal activity that has gone on for the past last few years. I'm done with it and Wildwood rightly should be too. Oh, you can bet. You can bet that I'm going to freaking try to get you on this show, buddy. I'm going to have some fun. Okay, let's go overseas. Large Hall of Alcohol Seized in Hell's Angels Raid in Palmerston the North. What do we got here? Armed with guns and a search warrant, police have scored the Hells Angel Palmerson's uh, North Headquarters. There was an uh, air of tension outside the Albert Street property as at least six officers searched the house and removed a significant qu uh, quantity of alcohol and other items. Police conducted the search warrant due to potential breaches of the Sale and Supply of Alcohol Act 
Oh, so you're going after him uh, for alcohol. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, cops. Police did not say what the alleged breaches were. No arrests were made, but inquiries were going on. Hey, you got a modern-day version of Elliot Ness going on over there. Police had earlier raided the pad on June 18th as part of a long-running operation targeting the Hells Angels Central uh, chapter alongside uh, other groups uh uh, in Auckland, all that stuff. Uh, four high-end cars and six custom Harley-Davidson motorcycles were seized, along with large stashes of cocaine, ecstasy, methamphetamines, cannabis, and cash. Thirteen people were arrested in those raids and are facing charges of possession, manufacture, and supply of Class A drugs. So basically what happened was, you know, they raided them and then they seen all the alcohol. So they came back and raided it again. And I bet the cops are having a big party right now. Star News by Matt Slaughter. Police raided a Christchurch property containing members of the Rebels Motorcycle Club in Christchurch. A search warrant was carried out at an address on Thacker's uh, Quay, Wollaston, at about 6 p.m. Detective Senior Sergeant Joe Simey said four people were arrested and were due to appear in the district court at Christ Church on methamphetamine supply and firearm charges. Simey did not comment on what was seized from the property but said police were able to get inside without using force. Quote, all I can say is that they're facing methamphetamine supply charges and firearm charges. I can't really comment too much more on the specifics of what was found. Rebels Clubhouse took him down. Now we have a good one going on here uh, up in North Dakota. And this, again, the Northern Infidels MC. Let's take a listen. Tom. A Minot Bike Club is taking necessary steps towards preventing suicide. Today around noon, Northern Infidels Motorcycle Club rode down to Bismarck to present a check for $3,000 to the North Dakota Suicide okay. Prevention Coalition. This money was raised a week ago during the Infidels annual awareness bike ride that more than 100 participants took part in. One biker tells KX News it is a great feeling to help shed light on such a serious issue. So we are doing what we can to help our community in suicide prevention. Um, as I stated in previous interviews, it's, it's just become out of control recently. I mean, when I was a kid, I can't imagine the numbers that we're seeing now as far as suicide like all across the board, all the way from young teenagers all the way up to our senior citizens. Tamp says the hope is to continue taking steps towards raising both awareness and prevention. You know what's funny? I'm surprised they even did this story because of our patch. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't say it was, you know, racist or something. That's just the way they are now. Now, very interesting. A uh, Los Angeles deputy says colleagues are part of a violent gang called the Executioners, have matching Nazi tattoos, and participate in illegal arrests. And this was an updated one. That we, Station, I believe, we an covered alleged this. alleged gang of sheriff's deputies within the LA County Sheriff's Department, known as the Executioners. Their alleged tattoo depicts a skeleton in flames, an AK-47, and a Nazi-style helmet. Miriam Hernandez has a closer look at the pressure mounting on the department to open their files on any groups like this. You're From talking blue inside gang, huh? the Compton Sheriff Station, a deputy's claim filed with a county about an aggressive band of whose cohorts allegedly in control. According to the claim, members are branded with a sinister logo which is a uh, skeleton wearing a Nazi helmet uh, with an AK-47 laughing. And go by a sinister name, the Executioners, which according to the claim does not allow African-American or female members. Deputy Art Gonzalez alleges the deputy gang is trampling on the rights of citizens and targeting him as a whistleblower. Deputy Gonzalez, um, he's, he's afraid for, for his safety right now as he should be. This is a violent gang, you know, violence, Shootings, beatings. Why are y'all beating him? Claims of excessive force and much more. And the timing. As community outcry demands systemic change, allegations in the filing claim that as many as 40% of Compton deputies are inked executioners or prospects. 
rumblings reaching Man, the they're sheriff. they're taking on the well, MC pro all, stuff. there is no gang of any deputies running any station right now. This matter has already been receiving very swift administrative action. We've already taken positive steps. Pressure for change is intensifying. Professor Sean Kennedy at Loyola Law School releasing a two-year study of deputy gangs, including the executioners. Often, the inking um, is attached to some kind of act of violence, including a shooting. It's the ultimate hey, expression just like you guys go of after your us. commitment to policing and your commitment to the deputy gang. The complainant, Deputy Art Gonzalez, is a former U.S. Marine decorated for his service in Iraq, Afghanistan. Here in Compton, once praised for speedy action to save a four-year-old boy shot in the head. The tipping point? Gonzalez says he witnessed a deputy executioner assaulting a fellow deputy. Gonzalez called a confidential tip line for internal affairs. To his shock, he says in his claim, the recording was intercepted. It's within 48 hours, a recording of his supposedly anonymous call was leaked to the gang at the station. He also reports that graffiti appeared at the station entrance. Damn. Art is a rat, and that was placed at the keypad to get into the parking lot, so that's the most... Well, everybody told you that there's gangs within the police department. They are the blue gangs, but that was very interesting stuff right there. Uh, there was about three more minutes. If you want to check it out, it's at worldstarhiphop.com. Now, Corey Graff's wall of shame, baby. New York Police Department cop arrested for the second time in less than a week. Hooked on phonics didn't work for him. By Tina Moore. An NYPD cop was arrested for the second time in less than a week on Monday for stealing model cars, clothes, and hygiene products from a Queens Walgreens just days after he was busted for knifing his former girlfriend. Russell Ibrahim, 27, you are in the wall of shame twice now, is accused of stealing 10 model cars, what? essential oils, a pair of Foster Grant sunglasses, clothing, and two every man jack deodorants from the pharmacy in South Owes Island Park. He was arrested at about 2.30 a.m., cops said. One of the cars he allegedly stole was a Hollywood Rides die-cast car, a toy car. That's a frequent collector's item. You couldn't steal anything better, you schmuck. Uh, the cop who joined the force in 2015 was charged with petty larceny and criminal possession. Seems like he's got sticky fingers. Uh, he was previously arrested Friday for assault and criminal possession of a weapon after allegedly throwing a kitchen knife. And a, his 23-year-old girlfriend, his ex one <laughs> This guy's a schluck, man. This is a good one, Corey. <laughs> now, 22-year-old village public safety officer in southwest Alaska. We've been all over the world today. Arrested on sexual assault charges. A village public uh, safety officer in western Alaska was arrested Sunday on three charges of sexual assault of a woman he had contacted during an investigation, according to the Alaska State Troopers. Man, it's cold up there, ain't it? Uh, in er, It's cold here in the winter, but damn, it's cold up there. Uh, in early June, James Heakin, 22, was called to investigate a domestic violent assault as part of his work as a village public safety officer, tro uh, Troopers wrote in an online statement. He returned to the victim's home several days after the initial assault to take updated photos of the women's injuries. According to the charging documents, Friday, Monday, in the Bethel Courthouse, he took photos of the woman's injuries and then began to sexually assault her. Investigators say uh, he can ask the woman not to say anything about the assault afterward. He let her send her a text message and he continued to plead with her not to say anything. Well, you shouldn't have done it, you dumb pervert freaking freak. Troopers in Bethel were notified of the accusation Thursday uh, by an Eek uh, village police officer. A village police officer is hired by the community, whereas village public safety officers are hired by nonprofit organizations. He was arrested and brought to the Yukon uh, Correctional Complex in Bethel. He's facing a charge of first degree sexual assault. First degree human trafficking and two counts of second degree sexual assault. The count of uh, human trafficking alleges he compelled the victim to 
quote, engage in sexual conduct by deception. So, yeah. Yep. Freak. That's what they are, freaks. Let's go to my final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts here. Man, that, that Hessian story, those are the type of clubs that are like very old school. Uh, those are the ones that uh, really stay local. They grow, but damn, do they put in the work, man. You got them type of clubs or clubs like the Breed that are famous for that stuff or uh, the Galloping Goose, real old school stuff. Uh, but 75 years old, I think he kind of served his freaking time. Uh, many are going to say, no, 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 he was convicted of killing three people. But what harm is he going to do at 75 years old? I bet he can't even ride a damn bike any damn more. So I'll find out for you guys uh, what happened in that case, because it was supposed to be as of today's uh, airing of this show that he was supposed to have his uh, parole hearing. Also, what do you think of Wildwood, man? What do you think of them business owners? Here he is talking about family fun and stuff. And he even admitted he was a part-time father. Wow. How hypocritical can you even be? Uh, you know what? I'm going to try to find out who this guy is. And I'm going to try to get him on the show. And you know what? We'll talk Facebook Warriors. Okay, buddy? Yes, we'll bring you on the show. We'll have some fun. Uh, get the gasoline ready because you don't want to use it on yourself. But when I'm done with you, <laughs> you know, that's just it's been going on 20 years. And I know clubs have been going there for 20 years. So it's in the last couple years. And I think the city did it on their own. You know, they're the ones putting up the snipers. They're the ones causing all the freaking fear. But that's what governments do, don't they? They're the ones who want to cause the fear so that they have control. That's just like the Sturgis thing. The leftist media. And you know what? I hate to talk about the left all the time, but you're just putzes. You really are. You know, you bring on the mayor of South Dakota. He's a putz in the first place. He's the one who won the, you know, annex uh, the Gypsy Joker stuff. And you got, you lost, dude. You got your ass handed to you on that one with that vote. Uh, but he goes on a, a, a thing like CNN. They're not even media. It was funny. Uh, an MSNBC uh, producer recently quit because they said, she said, we're not about journalism anymore. And a poll was just taken. 80% of people do not believe that the media is actually media anymore. They're more propaganda machines. And they are the ones sowing discord in this country, which is true. Which is true. Uh, we don't doubt that, man. Uh, I don't know where they went to uh, journalism school. But I'd ask for my money back because you guys are pure schlucks. You really are. You're pure schlucks. Uh, as far as that uh, case going out in Los Angeles, I don't know how, hey, yeah, you know, YouTube creator, ex-cop, how do you feel about that one? Is everybody, you know, just crying and whining about that one and it don't exist? You putz. Uh, anyway, uh, running around with the tattoos, a uh, prospect, now you're using motorcycle club terminology in your little gang and yes, I get to call you guys a gang. And what's even worse is it seems like a lot of freaking police agencies have these things happening. Yes, they actually form gangs. And they actually prospect members. And they're going out in the public and doing stupid crap. You know, beating on people, uh, the whole nine yards. And then they wonder why everybody's turning against them. Bad cops, man. Bad cops. What happened to having pride in your oath? You took an oath to protect and serve. Instead, you wanted to be in a gang. But then you go out and harass other members of gangs because you got a badge and a gun. It must feel really good to have it both ways, doesn't it? Uh, going overseas with that one story with the Hells Angels, man, I can't believe they busted. Really? You're using taxpayer money to go after people because of liquor, right? Have to use every angle you can to harass motorcycle clubs. Uh, I know it's a lot different uh, culture overseas, 
But as an American looking at it, man, you just wasted a lot of taxpayers' money. That's all I have to say about that. And the wall of shame was a good one today, Corey. Uh, man, a cop. He just, that's how stupid cops are. They just don't learn. Gets busted uh, twice in a week. What the hell? Is he getting paid leave, by the way? Because I know the you know NYPD union, they buzz balls, man. They never let their members go to jail or get fired. So I'm just wondering you know, if anybody has more information on that story. And uh, the last one with that guy doing sexual assault. Uh, you know what? It's becoming a theme with these cops, man. It's always domestic abuse. It's drugs or it's sexual assault. Most of the time, it's on kids. So you really hope that they get what's coming to them when they get thrown in the joint, man, and going after kids. I really do. Uh, it's just something uh, you got to praise the prison system for. <laughs> you know, at least they know how to dole out real justice. You know, I just couldn't imagine. But the rallies, man, like I said, what do you think would be the perfect rally? I'm not talking a Sturges or a Daytona. What kind of events and what kind of partying do you think uh, would really bring out what it is to be into the biker lifestyle, man? Some old school stuff. And it's kind of sad, man. The younger generation, they, they really haven't experienced them type of parties, man. We're talking people screwing, orgies here, orgies there, titties flying there, titties flying. <laughs> it, it was something else back in the day. Uh, something a lot of these uh, PC people would uh, turn red about. Could you imagine a rub going to one of them parties? It'd be like, oh my God, really? <laughs> anyway, man, thanks for tuning in to the show today. Don't forget to listen to us on Spotify and iTunes. Go over there and like us on Facebook, Instagram, where we do a lot. A lot of mini videos over there that you don't get anywhere else, man. Until then, I'll talk to you guys I later. Goodbye, you have Babus, a good one. HarleyLiberty.com so for more long. news, get baby. Don't forget, don't forget to go over to HarleyLiberty.com. Get all your motorcycle club news. What's happening in the scene? We have a new article or articles every single day over at HarleyLiberty.com. And don't forget the sister site, BikerLifestyleMagazine.com. If you're into all that kind of manufacturer motorcycle and news, motorcycle rallies and bikers help in the community motorcycle club editorials and more and don't forget to visit us on facebook get involved in the conversation watch videos done a motorcycle madhouse and more also we have instagram yes instagram we have material that is not seen anywhere else so don't forget get on our platforms check out your daily biker news rock on Hey guys, this is Kara from Bagger Syndicate Cycles. I just want to let you know about a place where you can get the greatest apparel, top of the notch, all about baggers, bikers, and brotherhood. And ladies, don't you worry, we didn't forget about you. Check it out at baggersyndicatecycles.com. Yo show is now available on Spotify and all major platforms, including iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher, and more. Don't forget to become a subscriber on any one of these platforms so you can be notified right away when our weekly episode is uploaded so you never miss an episode. Hi, this is James Hollywood Machikari. Join our YouTube channel and get Motorcycle Madhouse and tons of videos related to the bikers. Join now by subscribing for free and become part of the crowd today. Always free and always entertaining. Don't forget to visit us at www.harleyliberty.com for your daily biker news. Rock on!